What is up everyone, Volith is here, and Final Fantasy XIV Heaven's Word has released the patch notes for patch 3.58. So let's go ahead here and have a look. So it looks like we have our first quest is going to be Unidentified Flying Object. Um, it says we have to complete Freedom of Our Skies and unlock the Alliance Raid Dunescape. So this is either a continuation or possibly this is the 24 man alliance raid that we got during the fan fest and then we're going to be getting the new anima weapon story quest i believe these should be the last quests we need for the anima weapons their word of wisdom and best friends forever and um let's see here what we have else um, they're adjusting anima quest weapons as following. You can now exchange unidentified any of the bone shell or or seeds for crystal sand. Um, players can now um, build relations with people of Eorzea through custom deliveries. I believe this is going to be the um, by completing custom deliveries you receive gill, blue, and red scripts. So I was under the understanding this is going to be like our current um i can't think of the name right now i think it's the book of wonders um th but this will be the crafting version it starts with the quest arm wide arms wide open and right here are some examples so they have some custom deliveries you make them um so you have di disciplines of hand land and fishers so if you haven't been fishing you can get caught up in that and then the collectability so you get reputation gill and the two forms of scripts there and there is a custom marker for this type of delivery system this is Ildyshire. i believe it's going to be right up there in the lower right so this is just talking about um, how you complete these sort of quests here, completing them, and right there shows the reputation. Um, oh, it's the Wondrous Tales. I don't know why I couldn't think of that. And they're updating that as well. So now the feast, the eight on eight, has been changed to the feast slash fold. So it looks like they're gonna be, they've simplified the PVP aspects for the Wondrous Tales. And then um, we're, the, talking about the proto ultimate battle that was featured in fan fest has been added um, it doesn't say what the rewards are maybe we can dig a little deeper below um, we're getting our new maps for feast this is like the gridania looking feast um, sudden death has been added to the feast match um, should the eight minute time limit expire when both teams holding the same number of medals the match will enter a two minute sudden death period the first team to obtain a medal wins and the items in the feast have been adjusted new supply boxes and kits have been added those are those example the kit is wolf's heart kit restores hp mp increases movement speed and reduces the weapon skill cast time and recast time spell cast time and recast time so this is going to be a huge buff in the wolf's den here they're adding a new chat icon saying collecting wolf's heart um, we are going to be starting of course a new season of the feast again um, for if anyone's wondering i did not um, really participate in the feast didn't really have time for it so i didn't get any reward or anything like that uh, the draw rates for Sophia's bird has been increased and you can now exchange the totems for her mount and um, so that's good because um, last week we're, the free company was doing a run for that um, so it's good to know the drop rate on that has been increased the Goryeo gear added in patch 3.5 can now be obtained by the Calamity Salvager so um, basically now if you get the items and you don't want to hold on to them, you can get rid of them, but you can always get those items back. They're talking about new items here, grade two strength dissolvent. So I'm guessing that's pretty sure that's for crafting. They've taken, basically in red text, they've taken off the Dawnborn Aether Sand for all these requirements. New help test text has been added um new items are available for exchange 
its proto ultima heat shielding can be changed for proto ultima mesh and accessories for items 270 so the proto ultima is going to be dropping eye level 270 accessories it looks like or we can at least exchange it for 270 um, and then this the collectability for the splendor vendors have been reduced for all the type 1 stuff um, and then talks about some resolved issues as well as of course this attitude so um, let me know in the comments down below what are you looking forward to on this main patch is it really um, I mean from this there's really three main highlights it is the new um, crafting reward system for turning in items or the proto ultimate battle or well, I guess it's for PvP or the animal weapons. I'm gonna be looking forward to the proto ultimate, especially the 270 accessories. I'm gonna I'm wondering how different the difficulty is on that. It was pretty easy at FanFest. I doubt if they're gonna add into the game it's gonna be that easy just to get a 270 item level. Um, I'm hoping they've upgraded the difficulty on that, at least to a certain degree. Um, when I did it at FanFest, we did it one attempt, and that was still with a lot of um, deaths. So I'm hoping they've increased it. I'm not sure what they would have done. I'm assuming maybe either more dodge mechanics or just more health and more of a DPS requirement. And as always don't forget to subscribe to my channel to stay updated more videos to come and it's been a pleasure and i'll see you in the next video bye